Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand, Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture. Now, Kristen, we're going to talk about one of my favorite vegetables, no. right, today, okay. and that's potatoes. And it seems like they're a lot of fun. Potatoes can be a lot of fun because they come in a lot of different colors. You know, we think of red, we think of blue, there's even purple potatoes out there, even a little bit of gold and um, white potatoes. But, you know, it does have a lot of nutrition for us. Um, a large potato has like 46 percent of our daily value of potassium so and of course it's it's rich in carbohydrates but it mm -hmm. does give us you know a nice balance of other nutritional um things for our body too but i noticed that a lot of people have been talking about potatoes kind of being expensive at the supermarket or at the grocery store and maybe they're interested in growing it in their garden and that's one of the things that you can consider for the spring vegetable garden season here in kentucky and they actually do a lot better in the cool season um, weather months so you can actually plant potatoes anywhere from about March the 15th for Central Kentucky all the way to beginning of April. And that's kind of a, a array, you know, it's kind of an open window there because you never know how the spring weather is going to be right. for us here in Kentucky. So you need to probably give a little bit of give and take. And it I was, probably depends on the variety and the length of maturity because the smaller potatoes will take less time to mature than yes. like a large russet type potato. Right, right. So so try to think about, you know, if it's an early to mid to late season type of um, potato and then to, you know, look at your soil. I know a lot of people like to grow in their, you know, like in a conventional garden space, like in the ground. Other people might have like a raised bed situation. I've seen some really uh, neat looking type of containers for growing potatoes in. I've seen people using tires and things like that. Or, or maybe, even a straw bale. Yeah, a straw bale. I've seen those. I've also seen um, some other raised containers um, that they've used, or I've seen, um, I know, barrels. But then I've also seen, like, other things, like even just a black trash bag. So, I mean, you can do it any way you want to, uh, but just make sure that you have plenty of moisture there for those developing tubers. That's what, you know, is growing underneath the ground, so you need to make sure you have plenty of moisture available to it. There's a lot of different varieties that are out there. And I think that's something important for you to look at, like what types of potatoes your family eats, because all potatoes are not created equal. No. They have different capacities, like there's some that are better for mashing, mm -hmm. some that are better for roasting, and so I really probably think that you need to do some research on yes. what types of potatoes your family enjoys. Right, right. So the fingerlings don't have a long storage life, mm -hmm. so they're good just for a short time. They're not going to have you know, like if you did a later planting, they're not going to store as well. But still, a lot of, you know, good taste with the fingerlings. And they're a little bit... And they're fun. Yeah, they're, they're fun. Like you said, they're a little bit thinner, narrower. Um, but still, the colors and stuff are a lot of fun. But we do have a lot of um, good success here in Kentucky with Kingbeck. Uh, red Pontiac, um, Yukon Gold. There's a lot of different varieties, and if you have questions about the varieties that do well for us here in Kentucky, you can give us a call, and we can put those in your hands. But whenever, if you are growing um, some of these potatoes out in a conventional garden space, you really need to pay attention to the planting. And mostly, we'll put them out by seed pieces, so you need to at least have three or more eyes, um, so that way that you've got a nice size uh, to put out in the garden and whenever you're spacing out um, the the actual seed pieces when you put them out it's good to do them about three to six inches deep um, the depth is going to be about that um, about that depth and then usually if you want to do in several in the row 10 to 12 inches apart and that will give it plenty of time to grow you're not going to have to worry about diseases often um, and if you're doing multiple rows about 36 inches apart so make sure that you do space it out according to those depths so that way it's going to do well and of course we're going to run into things as we go along throughout the season but we want to put a plug in for our home vegetable gardening guide in Kentucky because that'll be a great resource as you come into problems to know how to take care of those. Absolutely like insects and different things like that if you're having any issues with that that'll give you a little bit of an idea what to look for. Yeah and if you have any questions about using potatoes you can give us a call because we have some great plated up Kentucky Proud recipes as well. All right Kristen well thanks for the information and we appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show. If you have any questions, make sure to contact your local Extension office. Have a great day.